Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you five amazing ways you can add icons to your site and they're all very simple and free to use. So let's get into it. The first one I want to show you is Google Material Icons. Now this is an offshoot of Google Fonts and it is nice and easy to use but there is one gotcha that gets a lot of people. So to install them you first have to hit this developer guide link and then scroll down to grab the link tag that you will add into your site and then put that in the head of your document above your style sheet. So I now choose a nice icon. I will go for this lovely heart and you see you can just copy the span tag which has the name of the icon and I'm going to put that into my body and watch what happens. Favourite has appeared which is obviously not what I want. And the reason for that is this icon is in the outline style. Currently, I have only added the plain icons in the link tag. So what I need to do is add plus outlined. And now my heart will render. So you will see there are five different styles you can choose from. Every time you use a different style, you're going to need to edit your link tag accordingly. Otherwise, they ain't gonna render. I do have a full video on how to use these icons. I will link it in a card above if you're interested in that. But for now, I'm going to move on in this video to the second set of icons we're going to use, and that is Font Awesome. So you'll see here that Font Awesome has loads and loads of icons to choose from, and there are free and pro only sections. And uh, even in the free section, there are 1,608 icons, so I think that's more than enough to get started. And to do that, what you need to do is hit this start for free button, then enter your email, and then hit send kit code. This is very easy to do, and what happens next is they send you a script tag, which you can add to the head of your document. So I have now added my script tag, and I'm now going to choose a nice icon to add. I'm going to click free, and then check out the free animals available. And I think I'm gonna go for the kiwi bird. So to get that, I just click this, and then I can copy the icon straight from there into my HTML. And I now have this kiwi bird. Now obviously both of these icons are tiny at the moment, which on a production site might be okay. But to make it a bit easier for you to see them, I'm going to style them over in my CSS. And to do that, I'm going to grab class names from the icons and I'm going to give those a font size of 50 pixels. So now you can see them properly. So the next source of icons I want to show you is free 3D icon. Now I think these are super cool, something a little bit different and nice and colorful as well. And again, lots to choose from. And as the name suggests, they're all free. Whoa, virus, oh no. Anyway, I'm going to add this nice donut. And to do that, I can either use the free version or the premium version, which has different camera angles, matte and glossy, so on and so forth. I'll do the free version for now. So I hit download, that gives me a zip which I can open, and then I've got two options to choose from. Not totally sure what the difference is, to be completely honest, so I'll just go for this one because it's smaller. And I'll just give it a simpler name, donut.png. So now I'm going to add a folder for my icons. Now, one thing to remember is when I download this donut, it's pretty much the size of a real donut. Well, actually, it's a lot bigger than a real donut, which for an icon would be huge. So what we want to do is resize it to a reasonable icon size. So I'm going to go for 64 pixels. Save that, and then I can drag that into my new icons folder and then render it with an image tag. Image source equals donut.png. And don't forget the alt tag, alt equals pink ring donut icon. And close the image tag. The reason that's not working is because I haven't told it that it's in my icons folder. So now, woohoo, donut has rendered. The next source of icons I want to show you is Icon Monster. And what I like about Icon Monster is it has a lot of useful icons, but they're just a little bit different to the icons you would normally find. You can also download them in SVG or PNG, which is very handy. So if I search for heart, there are a few nice ones to choose from. I'm a fan of this pixelated one that I've used in my custom cursors video, but I also like this one, nice little rounded heart. So I'm going to go for that today. And I'm going to download the SVG and I'll show you why shortly. So I agree to the license agreement. Make sure you read it first. I actually have, and then hit download. And this, as promised, has given me an SVG file with a lovely rounded heart. And to use that similar process to the donut, firstly, give it a sensible name, heart.svg. And then drag that to my icons folder. And then what I can do is 
also use an image. This one will be heart.svg and with an alt tag of rounded outline heart icon. Let's see if that renders. It does. And what's cool about using SVGs is that they're very easy to edit right in the SVG file. So for example, if I wanted a nice red heart, I can just do fill equals red. Woohoo, red heart. Now this again is quite small. So I'm going to edit the width and height also in my file. Nice big heart. So the final source of icons I want to show you is good stuff, no nonsense. And this is a huge resource full of libraries, which are a little bit different, sort of hand drawn and very pretty. Some of them are free, some of them are paid. And I quite like these free space icons. Super cool. Look at them all. And the way to get these is you hit download here. This then takes you to a Dropbox full of very grateful people saying thank you. And then you hit download, direct download. And you will see it's now downloading a zip with all the icons. So when that's downloaded, going to open it up. So that has downloaded all of the icons. So now I'm going to choose one to put into my project. And I'm quite liking the sound of alien abduction SVG. So let's drag that one in. And then in my HTML, just copy my image source and update the source tag. Go to rename this and then alien abduction icon. Wow, that is what an alien abduction icon looks like. Should you ever need it? Now, one thing I should address is that you might have noticed that I have used three different tags to add icons, span, itag, and image. Now there is a very long and drawn out discussion on Stack Overflow about which of these is actually the right one to use. I won't get into that here. You can go and read up on it should you wish, but you're quite likely to see all of these in production. So yes, go and read up on that and make a decision which one you want to go for. Another thing I should mention is the accessibility side of things. If your icon is purely decorative, then you should add aria hidden true onto it. So let's assume that my alien abduction icon is only there for decoration, not so you press a button and actually get abducted. I would then put aria hidden true onto the tag so that it isn't rendered to screen readers, etc., and doesn't get in the way of people understanding the page. On the other hand, if the icon is important contextually, it's important to include a title attribute and a styled screen reader span or alternatively, you might want to include text as well as your icon. So let's take our heart as an example. What I can do here is add the title attribute and then favorite icon. And then I can add in a span underneath favorite icon with a class of screen reader text, which in my CSS, I can then do something along the lines of position absolute and then position it way off the page. It's a quite common way of hiding screen reader text from non screen reader users. So yes, please bear that in mind when you're using icons to always adhere to accessibility best practices. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed adding these nice icons. And if you have any more icon libraries you'd like me to make a video about, drop them below because there are many of them and I'm definitely planning on making more icon videos in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.